Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have another diamond painting unboxing for you. This is by um, an illustrator that in the coloring world many of us are familiar with. Um, she contacted me over on Facebook Messenger, let me know that she had a diamond painting out. So I went and looked at it on Etsy and decided to purchase it. It was so cute. Um, it says on here, Top Technology Design Team International Fashion Colorful Diamond Painting. So I'm not sure exactly what the company name is. International Fashion Uprising maybe? Colorful new upgrade drilling, new ecological cotton diamond painting. Then on the back, we have some instructions on how to diamond paint. Original eco canvas, not faded. It's washable and foldable. Washable? Hmm, has anybody ever washed their diamond painting? I don't think I would. The world leading cutting technology, panoramic stereo with bright and dazzling color. Panoramic stereo. Hmm. Germany imported new digital adhesive spray tech. Huh. So it sounds like their glue on here is a little bit different. More delicate and healthy environment friendly. So it is, of course, made in China. This thing was taped up to the max. It took me forever to get the outside wrapping off. And then even the box itself is taped up really, really well. So I did open the end already so that I wouldn't be struggling. Oh, what was this in? So I wouldn't be struggling with it on camera. So keeping you in suspense, right? Oh, it looks like we got a nice tool kit. So it does come in a really nice heavy duty box. Wow, look at this tool kit. Okay, let's look at that first. Comes in this big Ziploc baggie. Let me zoom you in a little. So we have a big pack of baggies, if you like to work out of baggies. Uh, we have this cute macaroon. This is for your wax, and I can't get it open right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, we have a bunch of pads of wax in here. Wow. You could do quite a few uh, diamond paintings with this. There's four little circles of wax in here. Yeah, you could do... Uh, yeah, probably like 10 diamond paintings with that. Okay, then we get two drill pens. This is a three-placer and is that like a 10? Usually it's imprinted on here. I don't see it though. With the single-placer on this end. More baggies. Wow! Tons of baggies. Then we do get a pink and a red grippy for the drill pins. Pair of the really sharp, sharp killer tweezers. <laughs> Don't let your children or pets around that. Make sure you keep the protective sheath on it. And my absolute favorite tray. Um, the large white one with the pour spout. Love, love, love these. It's about all I ever use is this. So, very nice, nice toolkit. Don't see these big white spouted trays too often in drill kits. A lot of times you'll get the small white one. And I like those too, especially if you only have a few of that color in a particular area on your diamond painting. But vast majority of the time, I use these 
large white ones. All right, let's get into the diamond painting itself and you can see who it's by. Okay, it is taped. Ooh, it does have a soft backing on it. You get, oh, maybe I can just peel it off. Oh yeah, maybe not. I'll just get my little knife out. Don't want to cut the canvas. Oh, got some left on here. I'll get that off later. All right, and then we do have an inventory sheet with stickers on. Oh my gosh, we have another toolkit. What? Wow, <laughs> two toolkits in here. This comes with the plastic tweezers. I don't care for these much. Some of you may. This is your standard toolkit. You get the green boat. Uh, we do have a, another pen, three-placer, another square of wax, and some more baggies. So tool toolkits in here. Like I said, your standard one, and then your really nice one. So holy cow, right? All right. Are you ready to see this? This is Hydrangea by Julia Spiri. I love her coloring books. This is called a Certificate of Authenticity. Let me zoom you in. Is she not cute? So this is a 50 by 67, so it's plenty big, but not overly huge. It is a square diamond painting, 60 colors in this with two ABs. Design and premium dis diamond art kit created by an artist, Julia Spiri. And then we do have the sticker sheet. So this is nice for your logbook. Then we do have the stickers over here. I don't believe they're pre-cut though, so you'll have to cut them out yourself, but that's okay. Very nice for when you kit up. Oh, there's some pretty colors in here. Look at all them purples and pinks. Bet you will have a lot of whites and, and colors for the sky. Oh, she's so cute. Look at all the flowers in her hair. And that's why I opted to go ahead and purchase this because I just love this image. So let's take a look. Like I said, nice felt backing. Very soft. So, yeah, let's take a look. Get this out of the way because this is plenty big. It's upside down. Oh, yeah, this background won't be bad to do at all. Oh, my gosh. Look at her. Oh, those eyes. Oh, my gosh. Is that not adorable? Now, I did purchase this over on Etsy. That was the only place it was available. It was kind of a limited edition. So when it went um, out of print, she was asked pretty, pretty please to bring it back. So she again brought it back for a limited time and it is again no longer available. But guess what? I was over on Craftably looking at all the Jasmine Beckett Griffith diamond paintings over there. I know, very, very dangerous to do that. Guess what I found? This exact diamond painting, um, as well as, I believe, three other Julia Speary diamond paintings. So she must be licensing her work now through craftably. So if you're interested in Julia Speary's um, work and some diamond paintings, go over and check out craftably. Um, and yeah, there's a lot out there. Or if you do like Jasmine Becca Griffith, they have a ton of hers. Oh, I love her diamond paintings. 
we have 60 colors in here, like I said, so quite a few colors. Oh my goodness. We do have the color number symbol, DMC code as usual. Color key upper left, lower right, although it does take up over half the canvas. <laughs> up on the top, it does say living life in creativity. We have Julia Spiri's signature up here, along with a cute little picture. Up here, it gives you the number of the canvas. It is square drill, and it is 50 by 67 centimeters. Oh, this feels awesome. Down at the bottom, we have the name of the diamond painting, and it is copyrighted by Julia Speary. Over here, it does list her website, juliaspiri.com. She is on Instagram, at juliaspiriart. And then um, there is a Facebook group, Stamps by Julia Spiri. I didn't know she had a Facebook group. Oh, I love it. I am loving those colors. Wow. So let's take a look at all of these drills. Woo! That's a big pack of drills. Pretty heavy. <laughs> look at all this white. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. There's there aren't DMC codes on here, um, but the number corresponding to here, which does have the DMC code. So that is fine. I many times just hit up with the number anyhow, except for um, Diamond Art Club, or in this particular case, that's right, we do have the stickers. So then I do hit up um, my containers using these. And these are smaller labels because there is no beginning number. May make it a little bit confusing because these only contain numbers unless there's something on the back. No. So you'll just kind of have to watch. Um, hmm. I guess they'll have to go by the canvas just to make sure you're putting the right color with the right sticker. Again, because the number's not on here, but it is on the canvas. So on the canvas, you can see that 3865 is number 60. So, mm, might have to, you know, look at each. However, if you like just diamond painting from the baggies, you could just put this sticker right on the baggie. Um, or if you go by the number, you could just not use these. All right. So, yeah, let's look at all these gorgeous colors. Lots of blues and purples, which, you know, is right up my alley. Getting all these whites together and these are very full. Holy cow. Now with these pre-bagged, um, if you're familiar with diamond painting at all, you'll know that they're not counted diamonds. They are weighed by grams. So yeah, we have three big whopping bags full of this. It's not bright white. It is an off white. It is 3865. So yeah, it's, woo. This one is not sealed tight shut. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to pause so I can get these all back in the baby. All right. think I got them all. <laughs> oh, there's one on my hand. They're quite staticky too. So that definitely did not help. But if you ever do spill some, usually what I do is I just take my finger and they stick to your finger. And if they don't stick well enough, make sure your hands are clean, but you can lick your finger <laughs> and then they'll stick to that. So I didn't have to lick my finger. No. <laughs> so again, three big bags of white. Let's get on to the others now and I'll kind of make sure the bags are tight shut. 
kind of have some tan. Not sure what to color to call that. Ooh, look at that pretty lilac. Big bag of that. Pretty blue. Oh, love this color. It's that real pale mint green. A peach. Love this pink. Yeah, I'm making sure all the bags are closed now. <laughs> Pretty blue, light blue, another blue, another blue in here is an AB. So, does it indicate ABs on the canvas? I didn't even pay any attention to that. This is number 34. Yes, there is an AB 46. Hmm. And then here's AB38. So they must use their own numbering system, just like Diamond Art Club does, for their ABs. So, pretty light blue. Another pretty peach. So, we have some peaches, I imagine, for her skin. Pretty lavender. Here is our other AB. Just a few of this bright spring green. We have a dark green. I know the rest of these seem open, so we have a brown. Kind of a sage green and a lighter sage green. Imagine for the leaves down here. Gorgeous purple. Another lavender, a little bit of green, lots of shades of green and pink, tan, kind of a greenish tan with a little buddy. <laughs> Another tan, oh my gosh, look at this huge, huge pack of pink. That one's stuffed to the max. <laughs> We have a dark blue, kind of an olive color, a little bit of dark brown. Ooh, that one wasn't tight shut. Oh, and I love this pink. Oh, it's like a magenta, kind of a grayish teal. Boy, there are a lot of colors in here, aren't there? That looks like a real dark uh, maroon. And we got double labels on here, <laughs> blue. Want, they want you to know that that is number three and there's some trying to escape here. Like a blue gray. Another blue. Ooh, pretty light blue. Another pretty purple. Another dark blue, kind of a blue gray, darker blue gray. Oh, pretty yellow. Must be for the flowers down at the bottom. Another gray, another purple. And a bunch of lilac or lavender colors. Of course, we're going to have a lot of uh, purples. Kind of a mauve with another buddy. Another purple. You can see why I thought this image was gorgeous. <laughs> Gray. Another blue with one trying to escape. Definitely want to check out <laughs> your babies. Although, with the ones coming from Craftably, the few that I've gotten, never have had a problem with. Another gray. Oh, pretty mint green. Dark blue. Pretty light blue. Bright spring green. Another pretty pink. Just a few more, folks. 
another pink, another green, and finally, another really pretty pink. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love these colors. Oh my gosh. So again, I opted to get the full square. Now, I'm not sure over on Craftably if you will have the option uh, for round or square. I um, can't remember if I had the option on this or not on Etsy. Maybe not. Um, and probably on Craftably you won't. I don't think they give you the option over there. I could be wrong. <laughs> so I'm not going to take the time to rebox this up. Just wanted to show you. So I will leave a link below down in the description um, to Craftably in case you are interested in Julia Spiri's diamond paintings. Like I said, I think Craftably has four of them now. Um, yeah, as well as a ton of other <laughs> gorgeous images. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy the unboxing of Julia Spiri's diamond paintings. This was her first one. So if you enjoyed the unboxing, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys. Thank you.